Ritul um, asked the question of what are the tools for the current and future challenges. The collective uh, unit lab worked in Greece uh, through the time of the residency in Athens in several public schools running workshops inviting artists, architects, designers to um, bring the questions uh, that are core to sustainability uh, into the classroom. As we move on through the show, the project of uh, Grow Your Own Cloud developed uh, various models for data storage in forests, turning forests into data centers, and therefore completely upturning this equation in which we today are facing highly polluting and carbon burning, heat producing data storage centers. How can we uh, revalorize our forests by uh, storing data in them, storing our social memory in these forests, and how can we develop urban spaces for these forests to exist? reminded of our bodies through the work of uh, Studio Lapas Unger and Studio Jenner. In every show we have a water dispenser with sticks, mineral sticks that flavor this water the same way Berlin tap water is flavored. It's a little bit of a mapping exercise with a disorientation component. The project of Markus Jesaunig has drive toward the reuse of waste, volatile waste, it's uh, heat waste, with the bioengineering center in Milan, so that the uh, exhaust of this air conditioning, the, all this hot air coming out of a place that needs to be constantly uh, cooled down, is recirculated uh, into a certain space by means of an inflatable architecture. This becomes some sort of greenhouse in which he builds a microclimate. In the work of Olga Kiseleva and Liu Bauer around city life and tree life, they have explored the navigation of cities by all the urban dwellers. How can trees function as urban markers? How can we consider living beings of this age also bearers of our social memory? In the work of uh, HyperConf developed in the island of Tinos in Greece, the artists first of all questioned the population about their use of resources, of energy. It, ultimately, they came up with a circular model that is at the same time ingenious and humorous. From the culture of peanuts, they developed a model for a film festival, a uh, biodiesel run type of film projector. They created all these products out of peanuts, so that a fully sustainable and autonomous uh, film festival. The project The Art of Indifference uh, by Wasim al Sindi and Zero X Salon uh, is twofold. One part was presented in the exhibition Rewild in Rome at Maxi. The second part, The Black Hole of Money, is presented here. It is a documentation of theatre play that was staged in Copenhagen at an important theatre. It develops dystopian narrative on the society that will come out of the increasing dominance of cryptocurrency, and particularly Bitcoin. We have the installation Karst by Liu O'Neill, performing in caves but also spaces uh, in, in urban areas that have difficult access, large water deposits underground and so forth. From this results uh, an artwork that uh, is then spatialized and turned into a fully immersive sound experience. Finally, at the Panorama Lab, we find the work uh, of Adriana Knuf, Temporal Transfer Orbit. This is the second uh, manifestation of her research on decolonization of outer space. The film is an essay on the way space travel and the conquest of other planets, of exoplanets, has been presented by the dominant culture as a colonization. The idea that Adriana Knuf is developing is how to develop other principles for space travel, for our existence and expansion of knowledge about the space through queer and trans imaginaries. I 
wonder what our world would have been like. The project that is beside me here is not an artwork, but a meta artwork or a, a meta project within Retool. It has been developed by State. It is an instrument for the exhibition to generate knowledge. Visitors are invited to sort of share their thoughts after experiencing the artworks. And so this was uh, Ritu. Uh, it is an exhibition that gathers a lot of efforts, it gathers a lot of complexity, and it tries to reflect on the challenges that we are facing now and that will probably will mark our coming years.